This isn't an issue about coming out of the closet. It's an issue about changing everything inside of her closet. One of the Bay Area's most notable civic leaders is opening up about her past as a man. Tonight, the interview with the head of San Francisco's Human Rights Commission, Teresa Sparks. It'd be nice if people would stop asking transgender people what they have between their legs. I mean, and people actually take license to feel like they can ask somebody, you know, have you had surgery? You know, it's, you want to lean over and say, have you? She's blunt, she's successful, and for once in her life, she's finally herself. In a city that produces dynamic leaders and trailblazers of social causes, Teresa Sparks fits right in. Not in her previous life as a man, but as a transgender woman. Well, I have pictures of myself and my former incarnation and, you know, of my family. I'm still the dad, you know, my kids still talk, call me dad. Uh, my grandkids call me Teresa, and I'm not sure where they've got to, you know, can get to the granddad part, but um, no, I, you can't, I don't deny who I was. I've never denied who I was, um, because that's who I am. Who she is is a driving force in San Francisco, the head of the Human Rights Commission and former president of the High Profile Police Commission. But like many in the LGBT community, she came here for a fresh start. It is pretty amazing. Very successful business person you were as a man. Coached your son's football teams, I believe. Smoked cigars, all the all the kind of Harley. manly. Yeah, rode your Harley, all the kind of manly things. Sure. As you were doing those things, were you confused though? But at Absolutely. the end of the day, yeah. I mean, when I don't think trans. I think most transgender people believe from the beginning that there's something wrong. Something's not right. They don't know what it is. I didn't know what it was. It's just something's not right. It's not like every day I woke up and said, oh, I should have been a girl. I just woke up and thought, you know, this is, something's not right. Well, how, I mean, consider you, can think about what it would be if every time, you know, you, Raj, getting ready for work, you put on a suit, you put on a tie or no tie, you get dressed up going out to an event or something, you look in the mirror, you th and you never look good to you. It's never right. When you look, you never see what you want to see. You don't know what you want to see, but you know that's not it. Was there a secret life in hotel rooms or yeah, other yeah. cities on yeah, road trips? Yeah, and, and you do that, and it's kind of a, a it's kind of a, a, of a of a cycle where you 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 do stuff. You put on clothing. You put on women's clothing. You put on whatever, and you just hang out. You you know you. Just, I remember I used to go to Paris, and sometimes I'd get two hotel rooms. You know, one I'd live in the, I'd have a hotel room in the Ritz, you know, that my company would pay for and I'd entertain business clients. And then I'd have a crappy hotel room in Montmartre, you know, that I would keep a separate suitcase. Is there a therapy, a shock treatment to say, get out Absolutely. of here, get I out of my body? Absolutely, I went to a shock treatment. I, went, had, I had electric shock treatment in L.A. in the 80s. I thought, this is going to do it. <laughs> I mean, how could this not do it? And I went twice, and I thought, no, th th I'm not going to put myself through this. This is, this, is, this is barbaric. You said it was rough with your sons for many years. How is it now? It's good. I talk to my youngest son every night. I mean, he and I are closer than we've ever been. The funny thing is, is once we got over the transition, and they kind of they're, they're, they mourn their father dying as they saw it, and this new person arising, They've come to the conclusion it's really the same person. We talk about the same stuff. I mean, we don't talk about any, we don't talk about, you know, cosmetics and, you know, and high heels. Where are we in San Francisco? You're, you're one of the leaders in this city. Where do you see it going in the next five years, positive and negative? Well, I, economically, I think this mayor's done a phenomenal job on economic development. I mean, no one can argue with that. We still have some very difficult problems here. The homeless issues are still very difficult here. Um, we still have discrimination here. Uh, but you know we need to keep focused on that, or we're going to lose the soul of the city. And I don't think I don't think the leaders today are going to let that happen. I really don't. I have a lot of confidence in the leadership today. Fascinating woman. She is a force in San Francisco politics and a leader in the international transgender movement. We'll be posting this segment on our website. There you can also see our other high-profile interviews. Just go to nbcbayarea.com/forward/slash/the-interview.